It was an opening night unlike any other in Blacksburg. Virginia Tech played its first home game of the year this evening, but nearly no one could watch the game from Lane Stadium, all because of social distancing. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons tells us how fans are making the most out of this situation. The lights are on at Virginia's largest stadium, but nearly no one is home. Virginia Tech let a small number of people in for tonight's home opener, which means most Hokie fans have to find another way to watch. Most Virginia Tech students know how exciting Hokie football can be, especially inside of Lane Stadium. It's kind of like a feeling no other. Like I played high school sports and it's like kind of just reminds me of running into the stadium myself. Come on, let's go. Let's go, boys. The game remains the same, but COVID-19 concerns shut down any chance of a crowd for Tech's home opener. Freshman Chase Jaramillo and junior Dylan Winesett understand why, although it's an adjustment for both of them. I've been to a couple games in person, nothing beats it, so just got to do what we can since COVID's happening. It's a very different feeling, but we're still all super excited. Like me and all my friends are still treating it like as, as regular as we can. The crowd was mostly cardboard cutouts, but a thousand actual people got to go inside, primarily friends and family of the team. That includes Quincy Johnson, who drove from Michigan to see his cousin, cornerback Devin Taylor. You help him be taking pictures and hollering like just like it was a million people in there. Tailgating is also banned, so fans on the outside found other ways to watch. A few students walked down Beamer Way to see the game from the stadium screen. Some journeyed into downtown Blacksburg. I'm sure a lot of people are going to come down here and get turned away and have to go back home. Others, including Haramio and Winesett, did watch from home. Watching in the dorms with some friends, just on the TV, projector, whatever we have to do is great. I'll be playing a lot of loud music, that's for sure, and uh, just <laughs> having a good time in my house. The football team's house mostly collected dust on opening night, but the Hokie fandom extends far beyond the Lane Stadium stands. This new Lane Stadium experience will likely remain the same for the next home game. That's not until October 17th when Virginia Tech takes on Boston College. For now, reporting in Blacksburg, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you.